Happy day one of Winterween. I'm so excited to be participating in another round of this Halloween year-round themed readathon. The theme is Wicked Winterween, so it's like purples and witches and it's very fun. I'm getting ready to go to the library so that I can pick up some books, one of them being a book on my TBR. This vlog will be just for today. I'm really excited to hang out with you for the day. I also did a spinner wheel to pick the book that I started Winterween with. I'm super excited to be starting with the fiction writer. I'm really trying to prioritize reading books I own. So I plan for the day, reading the fiction writer. I'd like to get through all of it. The library, Duncan, I need to remember about my laundry, and I'm working on a reset right now, so I need to work on organizing my shelves. Hey Bowser, do you want to go to the library? Hey. Hi. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. I am back from the library. I wanted to do a quick haul oh, <laughs> for you. So the first thing I got is Happiness Falls by Angie Kim. This will be in an upcoming video. Next for this readathon, I got The Night It Ended. This is for the winter setting. And then I also picked up volumes 13 and 14 of Blood on the Tracks. I read the first 12 <laughs> last year, and I'm excited to get to these. I did put 15 on hold as well but they didn't have that yet so if i have time i might try to get to one of these or also this one that i also have from the library night eaters volume two ignore all these other books they're just existing <laughs> but i'm excited to get to this one this week nobody record this yep definitely not <laughs> where are you are you okay you stop doing so <laughs> Today is not the day I anticipated. I thought I was going to have this big productive day. I was going to finish one book by like 4 o'clock. I was going to finish another book that I'm reading for a different video. It's 11.45 p.m. And I <laughs> am 112 pages into the fiction writer. And I didn't even finish that other book. I did get a video edited and posted today. And I did do something for a different, different video. But today is just like not a good day for me for focus, which is very unfortunate because this is the only day that this is the one day vlog. And I did that because I thought I'd be able to read a whole book today. And I knew I was going to the library and all the stuff. So, you know, things happen and it's fine. I have been reading. I am still going to read more tonight. I am on chapter 20 of The Fiction Writer. And this is following Olivia Fitzgerald. And she's out on her luck. She had like a, she had a novel that sold really well well, I, it seems like it did well. She sold like 100,000 copies, which feels like a lot of books to me, but what do I know? And then her second book was a flop and her third book, like nobody really wants it. And then her agent calls her with a high paying ghostwriting opportunity and she has to sign this NDA. She signs it and then she's told she has to do this interview with this rich guy. I thought he was old, but using context clues, he's not old. He is a reclusive mega billionaire. He was twice named People's Sexiest Man Alive, and he wants her to write a book about his late grandmother's surprising connection to Daphne du Maurier, because her second book that was generally a flop was called Becky, and it's a Rebecca retelling. The more Olivia digs into Ash's family history, the more questions she has. Before long, she's caught in a tangled web of obsession, marital secrets, and stolen manuscripts. So pretty much he tells her that Daphne du Maurier stole his grandmother's story and we don't know if that means her writing or her life story and he pretty much wants her to like expose Daphne du Maurier. I will say if you have not read Rebecca, which I have not, one, I think I'm missing things, two, this spoils Rebecca. So I guess I don't need to read that now. Uh, the... Hmm... My issue is that the whole marital secrets thing, I don't want. Uh, so, what's his name? Ash? His wife 
is not alive. She died in a car crash or something, but they're like having this like weird sort of relationship. And I'm like, first of all, he's paying you $50,000 to write this book and you're gonna risk that for him. I mean, I guess if she did marry him, she could be rich too, but like, I don't know. But it's just like annoying how like instantly like drawn in and obsessed she became with him. Uh, I don't know. Who am I to say that if this man offered me $50,000 to write a book and my fiance or somebody has broken up with me and all I have is a pet fish and my job's not going well and he's paying for fancy hotels and expensive wine and whatever like maybe I would fall for him too. I don't know. He was people's sexiest man alive two times but it's just weird. Like she's getting weird vibes from him and then is like, oh, he makes me feel fuzzy. Like, is it him or his money, my friend? It's fine. It's feeling too romantic <laughs> for my personal taste. And I do think that if I had read Rebecca before this, I would like be picking up on some things that I am clearly missing. Uh, but like, it's not bad. Like it's feeling like two and a half to three stars, which like for me, uh, one star is I like hated a book. Two stars is I was mostly bored three stars is it was like decent but I like there are parts I liked and some I didn't so like really it's not bad but not a favorite I sat here because Winston was sitting up here. <laughs> he was sitting up here, so I thought it would be cute to have him in it. Then he decided he needed to sit with me. So you just get this now. So last night I got to page 200 in the fiction writer, which I think is almost 70% in. This is not what I wanted it to be. Generally, it's fine, but I'm not loving it unless things are like super twisty and fun in the last part of this i think it's probably gonna get two stars books that i find pretty boring and also maybe i'm a little bit annoyed during it and that's how i'm feeling during this because like she's like oh yeah i'm getting weird vibes from this man but like he's hot so who cares about my writing career and it's just really frustrating and i don't prefer to read it once again maybe if i read Rebecca I would be more into it but I haven't also there are these chapters that just say excerpt from the wife so like we don't know if this is a book called the wife we are led to believe it's a certain wife but I don't think I think they're trying to trick us with that and we've been getting more clues towards certain things and like I don't know it's fine <laughs> it's it's fine I, so I have not read Rebecca, but I don't know if I've read any Rebecca retellings. Um, and this one is not making me want to read more, but I'm not hating it. This is not going how I wanted it to. So I finished the fiction writer and I did enjoy the last third. Hi, Bowser. I did enjoy the last third the most. I'm going to give this three stars. I enjoyed the direction it went in. There was nothing that was really surprising to me. Um, and I do think that for my personal taste, there was too much of a focus on this like weird relationship thing. And I understand why it was there. Like I get it, but it's just not my favorite thing. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I have been joined by Bowser. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I don't know what I was saying. Oh, I have read a twist like this before and I just think it's fun in general. It's not my favorite thing, but I still enjoy it. Overall, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> I truly wish I had more to say about this. I liked certain parts. I didn't like certain parts. I would recommend if you're interested in it. If you're a big fan of Rebecca, I think this could be fun, but not an all-time favorite for me. So this wraps up, uh, it's technically the second day of Winterween, but 
the first vlog for Winterween, uh, my first book. The next vlog coming from me will be in two days, four days, two and three. So right now I'm going to start another book. I did the spinner wheel again. So I have my book picked and I'm very excited. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the rest of my Winterween vlogs. I think I'm also still posting a couple other end of year content videos. <laughs> Bye, I'm super excited for the rest of this readathon. Thank you to Gabby for hosting this and putting everything together. If you're looking to find me in other places on the internet, everything is linked in the description, including my bookstagram, my storygraph, and my Patreon. If you made it to the end and want to leave me an emoji to say you were here, leave me a tree, a palm tree, I think there's a palm tree emoji for the fiction writer or some sort of like ocean thing. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and hope to see you in my next one. Bye.